would be typical of what you could find in school boiler rooms and plant rooms, um, which is the heating system. And you can see here that this is all in good condition and this wouldn't be a problem. But here you can see where it's been damaged. And what's actually happened is somebody has actually stepped up onto that to, um, to reach something up here. And that's damaged it. This will now be releasing asbestos fibres. This material that's now being referred to as a ticking time bomb can be found in around 88% of school buildings owned by Nottinghamshire County Council. Ten years ago, 3,500 people were dying of asbestos-related diseases a year. Now it's 5,000 people a year. And these were the people that were using asbestos 20, 30, 40 years ago. And it's why it's, it'll only get worse. It'll reach a peak. One of my issues with schools is that they're giving this information, they're giving this responsibility to head teachers that, in my opinion, aren't properly trained um, or capable of managing the asbestos properly. When materials containing asbestos are correctly managed, they're not seen to be harmful. But if disturbed or damaged at all, the fibres released into the air can be fatal. Obviously, managing any building which is full of up to 1,000, 2,000 children can be unpredictable. It is not that easy to manage and it is worrying. I would worry as a parent as well as as a, as a teacher that there is asbestos in the building. But who do you expect to pay for, for the removal of, of all this asbestos? The that becomes a very much more difficult question, of course, with privatisation. But I believe that even though schools have academised, the burden of managing asbestos still falls back to the local authorities which ran the school before. Nottinghamshire County Council says it takes the matter extremely seriously and that schools are inspected annually. But it insists that the responsibility lies with the head teachers. Do you think the local authorities are doing enough? No. Um... I don't think they've done enough over it. It's become historic that, um, that, that local authorities do their best. They're on limited budgets, but it, this, is not, this is not really a budgeting thing. This is more about a management. This is, this is being able to put things in place that actually stop people being exposed, and that doesn't have to be an expensive job. Nationally, it's estimated that between 200 and 300 former pupils are dying each year as adults because of exposure to asbestos. And without proper training on how to maintain this material in schools, it's feared that this figure will just continue to rise. Kate Chaplin, Notts TV News.